This thing does not want to break. That is insane. So long story short, I broke my RC car again as you can see here. Uh, now I could just go on AliExpress and buy four of these parts for like five bucks, but that would be boring. It will also take one or two months to arrive, so that's not a good idea. What I'm gonna do instead is uh, 3D print one of these and yeah, just see how well it drives, see how well it works. Let's do it! Okay, so here I found a front arm for the car on Thingiverse. Um, I'm gonna put this link down in the description so you can print it as well. And yeah, here I have them in the slicer, so I'm just gonna print these out now. So here we have them. Now, all that's left to do is to take this one off, put this one on, put it all back together and should be good to go. So there we have it. You can see the old part here. Um, you can see where it like completely shattered because it's like a really brittle plastic. I've had these cars before and the plastic didn't used to be so brittle but now apparently it is. Maybe I got a bad batch or something. Anyways, um, I specifically made these to be really really flexible so that they're very tough and yeah they should be very hard to break. Check this out. God damn, that's a lot of flex. Um, anyways, so here we have the repaired car. This is the original one. This is my printed one. Uh, as you can see, uh, the suspension works, the steering works, it all fits. Um, I also replaced the original stock bumper. What even is this, honestly? Uh, with, with this improved one from the same material as these A-arms, yeah. Um, now all that's left to do is to try it out.
turns out driving in snow makes your car wet inside. Who knew? Okay, so now for the durability testing. So here I have an original arm that's already broken and the 3D printed one. Yes, I know this is a different color, um, but it's the same material. Uh, it's just a different one I loaded up at the time. I just wanted to print a new one. I didn't want to like take out the old ones. Yeah, it's the same thing. Okay. Anyways, um, yeah, these ones are very, very stiff and they like completely shattered when I crashed with them. Um, now these ones, these are not gonna shatter. Look at this. So yeah, I would say we will uh, set up these two in a way that we can both hit them with a hammer and see which one's stronger. Okay, so as you can see, I have the original one in this vise right now. So yeah, we're just gonna try to hit it and see what happens. Okay, first hit nothing. Second hit, completely shattered. God damn. <laughs> that didn't even take much force. Look, just... This is some really cheap plastic. It completely, like... That's just very clean. Okay. So now let's uh, try that with this one. This is a freshly printed one, hasn't been installed. And put in the same way. Wait, okay, let's see. I hit this one harder than the other one. It does not want to break. Yep. We're still going. And that was way harder than the other one. There's, there's absolutely no damage. Damage. Zero. Let's try that again. That is insane. I did not expect that. I expected to I expected it to at least like bend or something, but nothing. That's insane. Okay, we have a no. It returned again. What? Let's try from the other side. Okay, there's a tiny mark you can see now. What? Let's try it this way. That is insane. There's no way. It's fine. That is insane. Wow. Now let's try the original one again. The part that's left of it anyways. So here we go. Okay, so, as you can see, original bro one broke again. It's now broken into many pieces. And this one, no matter how hard I hit it, it just did not break. Like, the only thing there is on it are, like, little marks, as you can see right here, where it, like, was attached. But it's fine. This thing, I can still use this one. There's... There's nothing wrong with it. That is amazing. Okay, let's let's try that again. I, I want to break this. This is ridiculous. Okay. Just hit it from above. This thing does not want to break. That is insane. Nope. Did it do something? I do not think it did anything significant. Nope. It's fine. And look, in this direction, it's kind of flexible. But in this one, it's actually due to the structure of it. It's actually not that bad from a flexibility standpoint and we did the driving test earlier and at least with the speed of the stock electronics it drove perfectly there was there was nothing wrong with the handling or anything exactly the same so yeah that's 
these parts they're basically indestructible I would say I can I mean if I cannot break it with the hammer in a vise I can't imagine being able to break it in this RC car like, amazing I am never buying spare A arms again for this car anyways okay that's it bye